Singapore's health ministry says there's currently no evidence that the coronavirus can be passed on through aerosol transmission, contrary to some, to some reports. While experts we spoke with are divided on the issue. Well, currently, the virus is thought to be spread through respiratory droplets. Now, this means that if a patient coughs or sneezes, the droplets could travel and infect others within up to about two meters if they enter the mouth or nose. And the virus can stay in the air for minutes in this method of transmission. Aerosol or airborne transmission, on the other hand, well, it's more infectious. What this means is that the virus is mixed with tiny particles in the air. An expert tells us if this happens, it could potentially allow the virus to travel up to 10 meters and stay in the air longer, possibly for hours. The best analogy is when you smell perfume as you enter into a room. That is aerosolization, that's airborne. If such a thing is really happening in Singapore, we'll see a lot more cases, a lot more healthcare workers to fall sick if they were truly airborne. The fact that the healthcare workers in Singapore are protected is the best evidence that this is not airborne transmission. But according to another expert, it's still too early to rule out other modes of transmission, including aerosol. And this could have implications on how the public can protect themselves. Surgical face masks can certainly protect against infection through larger droplets and also through contact. If aerosols played a role in transmission of the new coronavirus, we'd have to think more carefully about ways to reduce our risk of infection from those because those kind of particles are small enough they could go through surgical masks or around the sides of surgical masks.